Hi, this is David from Helibatics.com. Today I'd like to show you how to properly calibrate the Tyrannus X90 Plus radio when it has, in particular, uh, an S3 switch installed, as you see here on the top. Uh, Alright, so here we go. We'll turn the radio on. Welcome to OpenTX. Auto. Now, the first thing we want to do is go into the calibration screen by pressing and holding menu and then page, and you'll see this. Assuming you've already got your six position switch configured, you'll see you'll see a six right here. And so first thing we want to do, we'll press enter position to start. Hold. And then we will make sure our sticks are centered. And I flick them like this just to make sure that they're they're unbiased and centered as best they can be. Make sure your pots are centered, slider sliders are centered, and your six position switch, I recommend turning it all the way to the counterclockwise position, as you see Acro here. Position hold. Uh, for, for calibration. Now we'll go back to this menu and press enter telling the radio that we've centered and and, uh, and adjusted everything for for calibration and now we move things so very, very important to start with the sticks so just gently press them up and down left and right up and down left and right no need to press them hard or anything just that's all you need to do now the second step very important don't touch anything else until you've gone to your six position switch we're going to turn this one one click at a time in the clockwise direction and while we're doing that, we want to watch down here and make sure that we see it increment uh, to match the, the the position. So right now it's in one. I'm going to click it once to two, again three, again four, again five, and six. So that is successful. Now go ahead and do <clears throat> your pots and sliders by turning them all the way to their extremities. And I found with the sliders that it's uh, beneficial to Turn them very gently and don't force them down or up because you'll get them to a, a point of movement that you can't really reach without pressing them. So they'll work better if you just gently turn them like I just did there. Press enter then again to uh, Stabilize. indicate that you finished. Now exit out of this and press page button three times and you'll see the channel monitor. And of course you can verify your, your uh, ranges are working correctly as you can see. Everything is centering to a very accurate value. And then on the six position switch, I'm, I've got it in position one right now. Yeah. Channels five and six are actually outputting the same values. And these are set up for the APM or PixHawk flight controller, which is very common. Channel seven is actually the raw value coming from the switch after calibration. So if I switch this to position two, hold. you'll see it goes to minus 60 on channel seven and approximately minus 40 on channel five and six. And then if I switch it again Later. to channel 3, you can see the values minus 15 and minus 20. Acro. Uh, 12 approximately on the first two and 20. Position hold. And then about 37 and 60. Auto. And 100%. So if you look at these values on the mission planner, for example, you'll see that you get, six, you get your six switch positions um, from these. If you would like to know how to program the six position switch, please see the video linked below in the description. I hope that was helpful. If you have questions or comments, please leave them below or contact us on the website and we'll do our best to answer them. Thanks a lot.